are back to review the last two episodes of Pam and Tommy on Hulu. Just watched episode seven. Well, rewatched, but um, so this one, I think it was like the Destroyer of Worlds was the title, and yeah, pretty much everything is falling down and crumbling and burning around every character in this episode, like. Pam's movie Barbed Wire comes out, and A, she goes on Jay Leno's talk show, and of course all he wants to talk about is the frickin' tape, and movie comes out, premieres, and while they're making it out to be a big deal there, she can hear somebody making jeering little comments about her over her shoulder. So Tommy takes her to, like, instead of the after party, to just a regular no-name movie theater that happens to be showing it that night and he's thinking yeah look at this great movie star that I'm walking in with instead everyone in there is just laughing their asses off at this movie for how bad it is and she is realizing that pretty much her career is toast similarly for Rand I mean he can't sell the damn tapes to save his life anymore because now there's so many bootleggers on the scene that yeah good luck Oh, remember that whole thing with the Mafia where he made the deal to fund the selling of these tapes and the distribution? Yeah, he's come to collect, and he ain't got shit to pay him. Goes about as well as one would expect for Rand. So, he's pretty much up shit creek trying to get a hold of, oh yeah, his business associate that has fled the country, is pretty much doing hookers and blow nonstop over in, um... Not Antwerp, um, Amsterdam, which becomes a point of contention of Rand getting his ass kicked for being stupid and or a liar because Antwerp is the diamond capital of the world. He's not turning your money into diamonds. He went to Amsterdam, which is, oh yeah, the drugs and hookers capital of the world. Yeah, so the buck now ends with Rand to come up with the money to pay him back. Nice, nice. So he tries to appeal to Tommy, which goes over like a lead balloon. Oh, he brings the money. Lights it on fire in front of him, just to be a dick, because that's Tommy Lee for you. Yeah, and then Rand finally owns up to his ex that he's been crashing on the couch with of what he did after she admits she has seen the tape and found it to be almost romantic and kind of sweet and shit. <laughs> uh, he finally owns up that, hey, so I I'm kind of the guy that leaked that tape. That This is my, my business venture that, that I've kept quiet about. Yeah, she kicks his ass to the curb so quick because, oh yeah, you leaked that tape without their consent. There was no release forms. There was nothing. And yeah, I find it interesting that in the 90s there would be that big of an argument about consent because I feel like that wasn't really as big a thing yet back then, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I feel like that was probably more updated for today's viewing audience, but yeah. Everything is falling down everywhere. You're seeing the cracks in the armor starting to appear between Pam and Tommy even more so than they were before. You can already tell this is like crash course leading to a divorce. Tommy's getting more and more out of control. Pam is getting more and more over all of his shit. It is just a bad scene for everyone involved at this point. So that's gonna take us into the final episode, episode 8, which I'm gonna go rewatch and then report back. Okay, so rewatched the final episode of Pam and Tommy, and even on like the third or fourth rewatching of this series, it's still just such an emotional roller coaster of a ride, start to finish. My god. I mean, this episode, it goes about exactly as you would figure, given the ones preceding it, that it's leading up to literally everything falling the fuck apart for everybody. Nobody really gets a happy ending here, except for maybe the guy that ran to divorce, because she's finally done with him. But, like, Motley Crue turns out to basically be a joke in the eyes of the youth when they put out their new 90s crew album, which 
God, I feel old, because I remember when that came out, too. But, uh, yeah, people were not having it. And Pam just could not get roles for anything to save her life. And she, I mean, being propositioned by the guy who wanted to buy the rights to the tape so he could at least control the flow of who all would see it, because if he had exclusive rights to it so he could charge for it, then he could issue takedowns to people who were otherwise distributing it. So pretty much make it made it an offer she couldn't refuse because she was just desperate to make this thing go away at least as much as she could in any capacity. Tommy really did not want to sell out to this, and that, I think, ended up more or less becoming the straw that broke the camel's back that broke the two of them up. I mean, yeah, there was a domestic abuse thing that ended up happening that is mentioned in the prologue, to be fair, that was, like, the true, true one that broke the camel's back, but yeah, they, they divorced. Like, we all saw that coming. Yeah, they got back together for a minute, and then they, did, like, broke up again. Like, those two are not meant to be, even if they do consider each other the loves of their lives. It sucks. <laughs> but anyway, um, there's that, and Rand can't cut a break. No matter how much he tries to repair his karma, he just, everything's shit for him pretty much permanently. It's just bad for everyone involved, and it just, it's kind of like watching a catastrophe blow up and then having to, like, slowly try to piece your life back together at the end. And they even, like, very poetically end it on the Bee Gees song, How Do You Mend a Broken Heart, which just... Again, bravo to whoever put together the soundtrack for the show. Like, very well done. Very well done, well played, all around, but just damn. Damn. Like, just the whole series... I mean, if you're not opposed to the material of which they are speaking, I would recommend the series. But, like, I just feel bad that for Pamela in real life, like, this whole thing has to be re-trudging up old dramas, which is so unfair to her. She didn't deserve any of this, but, like, as just a piece of film and literature and a show, it is super gripping stuff. Like, if you like drama... Holy hell. Hold my beer. Like, this is one of those kind of shows. Like, I personally loved it. Again, it only has been out, what, a couple months, and I have rewatched it three or four times all the way through. Because I really enjoyed it that much. Because just the way it was written was so well done. Like, usually with biopic type things, I am the person nitpicking them to death and back. But this one, no. Like, I really, really like how they approached this one. Like, I think they did a really good job with it. I'm just far enough outside the fandom to where I can't really nitpick it as well as some might. I'm sure there's inaccuracies, but I mean, I am a fan of Motley Crue, but I mean, I, I don't know enough about the inner workings of this whole situation. I was a little kid when it all went down, but I mean, as far as I can tell, though, it is really well done. And just, again, as an outsider looking in, just, damn. <laughs> like, again, if you like dramatic television, I highly recommend it, so... Anyways, those are my thoughts. <laughs> Onward to the next one. Uh, they made a show on the Sex Pistols. I, I think that may be my next one. I'm not sure if it all got put up at once or if they're, like, adding a new episode a week like they did with Pam and Tommy. I'm gonna have to look into that, but... Oh, boy, yeah. That one, it's another one where it's, like, definitely a fan of the source material to a degree, but not as obsessive as I am with some of my other fandoms. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. It's getting about an equal amount of pushback as the Pam and Tommy one is from Pam, so uh, I'm kind of curious, but anyways. That is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Did you watch this show? What did you think of it, good, bad, or otherwise? Are you planning on watching it if you hadn't? Uh, do you have any recommendations of stuff I should watch? Let me know that as well as anything down below. What have you guys been watching lately? I'd love to hear it. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you'd like my do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it the donation link as always is down in the description anyway guys till next time see ya